Good morning to you all and welcome to the Morning 4 podcast. I'm your host, Katie Parsons, and I want you to have a fantastic day today. I don't care what happened yesterday or what you are dreading about today. We have these few minutes together to get our minds right for the day ahead, and that's my intention. We're going to cover four bits of information today in just a few minutes' time. Two fun facts, a feel-good news story, and an affirmation. If you like what you hear, subscribe to The Morning Four through iTunes, Spotify, or Google Play. You can also subscribe via text by sending the word PODCAST to 57838. And please feel free to share this podcast with your friends. So let's get Thursday started with... Number one. Good news for pen pals everywhere. Today is National Send a Letter to a Friend Day. Now, in today's modern communication world, most of us probably don't have stationery on hand or the stamps to actually mail a letter. If you do, more power to you and definitely make use of those today. But for the rest of us, a simple e-card or heartfelt email should do the trick. Taking the time to show the gratitude towards at least one friendship in your life will make you all the more grateful for all of your healthy relationships. Number two. Fast food restaurants are a staple of American culture, and even if we are pretty good about our consumption of it, most of us have found ourselves in a fast food drive through at least once when the effort of making something else just seemed overwhelming. Hey, no judgment here. My local Taco Bell is closed temporarily to remodel, and I am feeling the pain. But long before the soft taco and seven-layer burritos of the world were accessible via drive-thrus, the first fast food restaurant opened in 1916 in Wichita, Kansas. It was a White Castle. Though eclipsed in popularity by later joiners like McDonald's and Burger King, White Castle remains one of the most popular fast food chains in the world, its signature sliders being served to billions each year. Number three. Today's feel-good news story is sourced from CNN. Ladies, imagine going into labor, but being trapped at home and unprepared to deliver there. In last week's polar vortex weather. Sounds like a nightmare, but that is exactly what happened to Iowa couple Cassie and Scott Abram. They actually had gone to the hospital when Cassie was showing signs of labor, but ended up being sent home when it looked like it was a false alarm. Real labor kicked in a few hours later, though, and Scotty Abram was forced to deliver the newborn on their living room floor as they waited for paramedics. When the firefighters arrived, they checked on the vitals and prepped mom and baby to head to the hospital. But here's where the real kindness kicks in. Some of the firefighters went out to the couple's driveway and started shoveling the snow from it. Another family member snapped some photos and put them online, and and those have since gone viral. Mom, baby, and Dr. Dad are all doing well. Number four. What ways are you helping those around you and going that extra mile? Like those firefighters who shoveled snow from the driveway. Look for something small you can do today that is kind. For your spouse, your kids, your neighbors, complete strangers, whoever. Maybe today is a good day to be kind to yourself, too. So make sure you make time for that. Let's get ready to have a great day with our affirmation. Repeat after me. There will always be situations out of my control. I cannot fix everything. Today I will accept that and use my own mind, heart, and actions for good. Thank you for starting this Thursday with me. I'll see you back here again tomorrow.